What about for a cancer patient? How does that work and how does exercise help in managing that stress? In different ways, we, we have two main avenues, two different approaches that we offer in terms of exercise for the patients. We do offer a support supervised exercise program mm -hmm. and in that way I think what helps them the most is that they come in and they're in a small group setting. Right. So they're with people that have experienced the same thing that they've experienced. They're coming in, they've met us ahead of time so they know kind of what they're getting into. They feel comfortable with us in discussing their conditions and their concerns. Especially a lot of women um, may not necessarily feel comfortable discussing discussing something like I've had a mastectomy with, with just everyone. Um, so since they feel like they're supported and guided by a professional, then they feel a little bit more open to it. Right. And I think that's that's the beginning, is that groundbreaking, like kind of creating a connection so that they feel comfortable enough to come and then start exercising. Once they start to do that, is able they're able to explore their bodies a little bit more, see what they can do, what they can't do, feel more comfortable. Right. Um, exercise does help to release endorphins so they feel good. They're creating that social connection and it helps in that way. When they come to our group fitness classes, it's um, a little different, but again, same setting. So they have people there who've been through the same thing that they've been mm -hmm. through. Um, they're learning to explore what they feel comfortable doing, what they don't feel comfortable doing, and it gives them that sense of courage, that that sense of self-efficacy that they can do certain things that maybe they didn't think they could do before. Again, under the guidance of someone who's right. trained to, to monitor them.